Hey guys, it's Alpha, and in today's 5M tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Zap Hosting dedicated game server for 5M. Um, I'll be going over the Windows, Linux, and TX admin version of the game server. If you know what the differences between them are already, then great, go ahead. You can just skip this section. If you don't, then um, these are the ones that Zap Hosting as the company offer. So TX admin is more of a uh, plugin for 5M that uses um, like I don't really know how to describe it. It, it, it just it, you, it can pre set up a server if you're less advanced or, or less experienced with 5M. Um, so it comes with uh, packages of resources readily available that will just pre install onto the server for you. Or you can go for the Windows or Linux version, those are pretty self explanatory, those come with out packages. But Zap Hosting offers uh, resource packages to be self installed if you'd like. We're going to stick with TX Admin today. Uh, if you follow the link in the description uh, at zap hosting or zap hosting.com slash alpha, it will take you straight to this page with the TX Admin already set up and selected. Um, all you've got to do is select what options you'd like. So the location of the server being hosted, I'm just going to stick with Germany because I believe that's where they've got the most support because that's where Zap Hosting is based. Um, then you've got plenty of options like these slots that you'd like on your server so how many players can play at one given time i'm just going to stick with 10 because I'm, I'm not going to be using this server for anything i'm just showing it off so you know how to set it up obviously you've got the payment type whatever you'd like to do you've got memory boost so this is ram um, i'm assuming most of you will have a technical technical uh, know-how and you know what ram does for a server if you are planning on having a roleplay server that has more than 10 concurrent players, I highly recommend having more memory along with the required extra slots to fit people into your server. Uh, for example, with a roleplay server that I used to run, I had 64 slots with an extra 8GB of memory. Uh, this is required because more players and resources will need more memory to run smoothly. Uh, without this, the server will be very laggy and people won't want to, to stay on your server. So yeah, if you are planning on doing a roleplay server, Obviously, you're, you're obviously going to be planning on having a lot of players. So I highly recommend, obviously, upping the slot count to however many players you want in your server and uh, upping the memory accordingly as well. And obviously, you've got the, um, the secondary storage and the CPU and obviously the uh, speed of the RAM over here if you want to upgrade that. That's perfectly up to you. And you've also got the IP address. That's... Um, it's basically it comes with uh, some some benefits such as like DDoS protection or anything like that. Uh, I'm just gonna have no own IP address for now. And then obviously you've got DDoS manager overview as well in case you want protection against DDoSes. And then you've got the billing interval interval on how often you'd like to pay. So once you've configured all these settings that you'd like, you can come down to payment. You can pay with loads of different um, methods. I'm just going to use Zap Coins because the um, Zap Posting have kindly given me some credit to make this video. So I'm going to pay with Zap Coins. You just got to agree to all of this, and then you can receive any newsletters or anything. Um, also, what you should do if you want to get a cheaper price is go to Use Voucher and enter the code Alpha, all capitals, and redeem that. That a that applies a 20% discount, which is already applied for me. But um, be sure to do that when you uh, when you go to the payment because you can get 20% off. And then once you've cashed in the voucher, you just press buy now and the transaction will go through. And you'll be taken to this page just here where the server is being set up for you. You also get a 50% discount on um, any other product when you do make a purchase on Zap Hosting, which is a nice touch. But for now, we're just going to wait for the server to be set up. Usually this takes anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes. Not too long, not too short. Just uh, go grab a drink whilst you wait. So whilst we do wait, I'm just going to explain what the difference between a home hosted and a dedicated server are. So Zap Posting is a company that will host the server for you. Whereas all of the other tutorials that I've been doing um, in the past have been uh, in... in in my home hosted server which means i host the server on my home computer which means that if i did want the server to be up and running 24 7 i would have to have my computer on all the time and um 
obviously that's that's a, that's a big electricity bill so that's what zap posting's here for you can get a server for very cheap and you can also have you know ddos protection all of the services that they offer uh, and it's, it's very convenient i've used that posting for multiple years now um and they were nice enough to contact me and say hey you want to make a video showing how to how to use it for for viewers that would want to use it so here we go we've got the server set up so i'm just going to press the show product And once you're on this page here, you can just go to your product just here, the game server for 5M TX Admin. And this is your dashboard for all things about your server. And because we've chosen the TX Admin option, we can go to this link just here. And this will take us to the TX Admin interface. And we'll have to put in a username and a password. This is shown on the TX Admin dashboard. So we can just put those in. And this will show the setup for the server. Um, <coughs> so here it is just saying that you've got to select all of the profiles for the server. So here's just a, a server name. So obviously if you're making a roleplay server or anything like that, put like, you know, the name of your roleplay server, the community that you're creating. I'm just going to put alphas test server, why not? And we're going to press next and then deployment type. This is a very crucial thing. So you can do custom templates from URLs on the internet. If you've found a good um, package that you like, I would recommend staying away from this until you know how it works, but local server data. So this is, so let's say obviously you've been following along with my previous tutorials and you've got a home hosted server. You can go to this and import all of the files from your home hosted server into the, um, the dedicated server, or you can go pop popular template. If you're trying to make a role play server, I would go with this because it comes with ESX, which is what most uh, roleplay servers use. It's a framework for many resources. So things like the police job, you know, uh, jail, robberies, all of that, that's ESX most likely. There's also other frameworks such as VRP, but um, if you don't know what they are, you've most likely seen ESX and that's what you look for when you're um, trying to create a roleplay server. So I'd go popular template and then I'd stick with Plume ESX Legacy. There's some other ones, but I know that Plume ESX is a very good one and it comes with all of the things that you'd need to start off. So I'm going to pick that one. And then don't change anything on here, just leave it at what it is. And just press save and then go to the recipe deployer. So this is just some code on the deployment of the recipe. Just leave it all as it is and just press next. And here we've got all the information for your server. This is going to be pre-filled in by Zap Posting, so leave it as what it is. Don't change any of that. And just press run recipe. And it will just be res running the recipe, which basically means it's installing all of the resources. And once that's finished, just press next. And this is the server.cfg, as we've seen in my previous tutorials. Just leave it as it is. This is also pre-set up. It's all done for you. Just press save and run server. And this is the console of the server. It's just starting all of the resources up for the first time. So this may take a bit longer than usual. But whilst we wait for that to start up, we can also see that on TX Admin, there's loads of cool features. So we've got the usage and the memory usage of the server, which is a very nice thing to have if you're developing and you need to know if like your resources are taking too much memory or anything. We've got the dashboard, you know, which you can start and restart and stop the server. You can kick all players, make an announcement to all players on the server. You can set up a Discord bot from here. You can go to players and see each player that's currently in the server. You can ban them, anything like that. It's very useful. You can go to resources and manually restart, stop and start resources from here. It's it's very useful. Got a server log, shows all of the logs things. CFG editor, this is your server.cfg. Diagnostics, you know, everything you need to know about the server. Admin manager, so you can add admins for the um, TX admin. You've got logs for the admin, uh, TX admin. Then you've got settings, so you can change loads of things about your server. You can add a, you know, a, re a restarter that schedules each day, you know, if you want to restart every six hours or whatever. You can link the Discord bot for anything like that. 
So basically there's a lot of lot of features with TX Admin. That's why I recommended using this one over the Windows or Linux because it's so much easier, especially for making things like role, role play servers where there's just a pack of resources readily available. So now that everything's started up, we can actually boot up 5M and join into the server and it's easy as that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to play and then we're actually going to go to the zap hosting web website and we're going to grab the IP. And once you've got the IP of your server, you can just paste it into the search bar and your server should come up. If it doesn't, like it hasn't for me, you can just press F8 and then type connect and then paste the IP of your server and just press enter and that will connect you manually to your server. And as you can see, it's got a loading screen other than the regular 5M one. And it's got all of the controls and features. And as you can see, it's customized to the name of your server. So when I put alpha test server, obviously that's been applied to this loading screen. Another great feature about using Zap hosting is I know that a lot of you asked for tutorials on how to port forward which basically means you know obviously how do you get your friends to be able to join your server with zap hosting you don't need to do that it's free setup and anyone can join it as long as they've got the ip so here obviously we've got you know character registration because this is the pack that i use the plume esx pack so that allows you to uh, just basically have a, a role play server on the go so i'll just put alpha uh, davies and we'll just do a, uh, and then um, 1990 there we go why not the random height there you go and then you can also do customization of your character you know all the all the standard features that you'd see in in a um in a, in a modern roleplay server they're all here so you can customize your character change all your clothes all of that do whatever you got to do for your character then when you completed it you can just go in obviously my character does not look good at all but uh you know it's got all the features job center so you can you know be police ems anything like that and it's also got loads of custom script shows, you know, all the money in the top right, your job. You've got a cool mini map and food and hunger and everything in the bottom left. You've got, uh, you know, um, voice chat, which is great. You've got a custom map. You know, you've got your gun stores, ATMs, banks, garage, dealership, drug deals, job center, Los Santos Customs. You know, everything, everything you need for a roleplay server is fully installed with the Plume ESX pack. Obviously, you can try out the other ESX packs try out you know any deployment uh, recipe um, using the deployer from TX admin um, but obviously if you're new to TX admin I'd say save that until you're later down the line um, but if you're trying to make a roleplay server everything that you really need is, is in this pack anyway uh, of course you're not limited to what's in the pack you can add as much as you'd like using um, any TL uh, FTP application uh, the one that I've always used is FileZilla, which basically means that you can um, access the server files remotely from your computer and you can add in or remove files, anything like that. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I'll go into depth on how to do that in a later video. Or if, if I haven't made one by the time you're watching this, just go ahead and search up how to use FileZilla. It's very simple um, and you can access the login details for FileZilla your server specifically on the zap posting dashboard um, and there's also 24 hour support on zap posting which you can use uh, if you ever have any issues other than that that's that's how you set up a zap posting 5m server obviously specified for role play in this video because i know that most of my audience will be trying to make a role play server um, but you can use it for whatever you'd like really uh, if you enjoyed the video please do hit a like uh, if you need any more support, join my Discord. Obviously, you can contact Zap Posting Support. They've got 24-hour support. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.